hello everybody welcome to our new video today we're going to show you uh how to fix an error in in android studio when you're trying to install the uh android studio on kali linux so we got some uh problems when we were trying to install what android studio so one of the errors are like here when you try to install okay he i just installed kvm and stuff okay so um the 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 problem here was it could it could say that it could not find those packages when i'm trying to install the packages so this is the reason why we did install kvm and all that thing so what they say on their website before you when you're using a 64 bit you have to install this so this line simply did not work so since it did not work there's some steps you have to follow to make this line work after you can see i tried it here it did not work i tried it here up it did not work i tried it here it did not work so what did i do i went and made some research on how to fix that so uh what what we what we did is to create uh to run these commands one by one i'm gonna give you the commands i did uh what i did run then i got successful to run my android studio on my Kali linux 64 bit so one of the things you're going to do i'm gonna give you already prepared for you some stuff you're gonna copy one by one command then you see how we managed to fix that so uh, let me get you my document uh, first of all you have to put this you can see type in this command okay second command type in this co second command third command type in this third command fourth command it's here i think it's clear but you have to be sudo you put on that command and after that everything is done now so so after when that is done the only thing you have to do now you have to update your what your operating system after updating the operating system then you're gonna do what you're gonna do run this command so after that then you go and say sudo up to get install cpu checker that's fine so then we have to install the what uh, the kvm so when you run your android studio it's going to ask you if you want to install the kvm so if you on ubuntu then you can run this command to install kvm so it needs the kvm to run so but the first you see the first one two three four lines they fix the error which says that those packages cannot be found so once we fix this then you update then you'll be able to install these 32-bit libraries okay since that is okay uh you can see on uh, what on kali linux uh, on what on android studio uh website they tell you that if you you do what you you're using a 64-bit then you have to install this before you do anything so i think that is cool for you you can understand that so but now how do we uh prove that we did that so you can see the first command here uh if you see the first command i i i, I did the four one don't forget that two exactly the way i did it three okay four once you're done with that update your operating system after the update it's gonna show that it's done then you run this line this line after running this line so when it's done then i want us to scroll down because we're gonna follow everything i did though i'm gonna put everything in the description and uh, you go 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 okay the package is installed okay which is good uh -huh. 
which is good, which is good, which is good, then we're going to find the another line I did install. Okay. Okay. Here if it says it's gonna ask you when you're installing that it's gonna ask you to say yes or no yes just press y which is for yes so when it's done it's gonna say yes it's done here so what's gonna be the second step to do after that the second step if you know how to install kvm then you install kvm that's the another step you have to do but i wanted to find it for you here so that you be hundred percent sure that what I did was it okay. So you come here and install what they call PC CPU checker. So do install PCU checker. After that, they need to tell you that it's done, done, done. Okay, okay. After that, then what is next? Okay, CPU checker will be installed. Okay, trying to see. Also, it's gonna say yes. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna have to run this command. You see this command? So, this is the command you're gonna run after the CPU checker. You run this command. So, after that, then you put in CPU to check if kvm is uh, does exist you say kvm minus okay then press enter then it's gonna show the info then it's gonna say kvm exists so once that's that's once this is done then it means that you are successfully managed to install everything in the right way so let me get for you this documentation here which i'm gonna give to you uh you install this kvm checker then you put this this command you're gonna run it uh, after running that uh, you're gonna let me delete this then you check if it's okay so let me get you here okay okay you're gonna check that yeah so once you're done with that that simply means everything is fine so what's gonna be next you're gonna be able to run your Android studio all the steps are here I'm gonna put everything in the description step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 step 7 step 8 step 10 you done just you run all this one by one one by one one by one one by one then you're done so you're gonna run your android studio how do you do that so i guess you know how to download and install if you don't know i'm gonna show you some small tips how to do that you go to android studio you say download you click here it's gonna download for you the latest so it's gonna go to your you can see it's here i downloaded it already so it's gonna go to your downloads folder then you can follow what they told you here they said go to put that folder in places like uh usr local or you put it in opt so what do you do i'm gonna do that for you uh you can try to find uh, I'm gonna go to that folder. I did a couple of things already, but uh, just I want to show you. After downloading, you're gonna go to you go to download. This is the zip file. Then you do what extract here. After extracting here, it's gonna show you a folder like this. So after that folder, you double click that folder. You copy this folder like copy, or you cut it. You go to this location you go to computer my computer but you can do that using your command prompt or but now i want to do it manually then you look for usr but if you want to put it in opt also it's fine then you look for local 
then you do paste you click paste after pasting you're gonna see your android studio here so you can right click here and say open in terminal okay once you open in terminal you can see it opens this folder here so then you're gonna see ls you wanna list what is inside here uh, we can see the folder called bin that folder you say ls to bin ls bin after that it's gonna list this so to run your android studio you copy this studio dot sh so whereby you're gonna say dot forward slash you say studio 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 it's better you copy it and paste it there but just i, I want to type dot sh okay then you say enter when you hit enter you can see it doesn't give you the right thing why because i was supposed to copy and paste sometimes there's some something you can do wrong maybe you write something in the wrong way so what I did, i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy that and i say dot forward slash then i say go paste that telling me that uh, there's no such directory what's going on there i wonder why that but anyway it's gonna work it should work uh, sh studio whatever whatever whatever, whatever. I can go CD and I go back CD to SH, uh, CD to USR, so CD to USR, local, okay, local, then studio, it should be Android studio, uh, gonna be Android, Android studio. Oh, you know what is going on here. Uh, I think I can see what is going on here. Say enter. Still doesn't give me this. What's going on here? I'm gonna go to uh, call this. Let me take this. Take this. Copy. Straight copy. Then I'm gonna say CD to that. CD to. Yes, I'm there. Then say ls no i can say cd to bin because i know that folder is there is there then ls to bin uh no it's gonna be ls to bin okay we in already there that's why it doesn't give me that so we're gonna say dash then dot then forward slash android this studio dot sh then we say enter after hitting the enter now put it in the right way it's gonna open android studio but it takes a little bit of some time but it's gonna work guys i'm 100 percent sure of the steps i gave you if you're using car linux 64 bit you're gonna see android studio opening on your computer don't miss even a single step it's gonna work for you don't get frustrated don't forget the step of kvm also because it comes after when we install those libraries it's opening on the second screen but after when it's done i'm gonna put it on this second screen another screen to show you that is working 100 percent It's downloading, it's, it's, it's opening. It's taking a little bit longer, but it's going to finish soon.
missing building bundles checked but it's fine this is a warning that it's gonna open and it's gonna run it's gonna run straight okay I'm done with that then it's running 100% guys and I can run it uh, in any if I put it on my phone it's gonna run if I run it here it's gonna run this way it's, it's loading after loading then we're gonna run it and see you never you're not going to get any error for now yeah guys i hope this helps it has worked 100 percent you can see now you can start dragging and drop your buttons your everything here you can bring here your button here and try start developing everything so after you can also run this you can sometimes get into some problems when you're doing uh, running a, you want to do your emulator but you can also f put your f phone and uh, see if the emulator is gonna work for you you can see code I can close this first, let me close it and, uh, and I can connect the phone then I show you how to use, use it using the phone but the phone it might install the plugins straight but if it doesn't then you have to so I'm using a Huawei P Smart and uh, I'm, I'm sure I tested it before then it has to appear here first yes it's in uh, after when it's in then you can just click here then it's gonna run on my phone i'm waiting on this side on my phone it's gonna show up then i'll tell you what to do yes i got it here yeah no guys please don't forget to subscribe if i made any mistake please correct me if you need something also you can type in tell us what's the challenges but by this side we did manage to fix everything don't forget I'm gonna put for you all the steps in the description below uh, please subscribe to our channel and also uh, do comment if you have something to comment so this is your documentation where is it uh, you're gonna find it into the steps I gave you these are the steps you're gonna find step by step step by step uh, step one step two step three this is one command you can see this is one command and uh, this is one command this then this is also different and also this is different yes thanks for watching guys see you in the next video